Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning Videos. Biomechanical Principles and Levers Newton's Laws of Motion Biomechanical Principles and Levers This section will develop your understanding of the mechanics of movement looking at how motion and forces can be applied to performance and physical activity in sport. There is a concept called Newton's Law of Linear Motion. Linear motion is the motion in a straight or curved line with all body parts moving in the same distance and the same speed in the same direction. A 100 meter athlete will travel in a linear motion or a curved line when running the bend. Newton's laws are physical laws which you may have encountered in your physics lessons. They describe the relationship between a body and the force acting upon it and the body's motion in response to these forces to help understand human movement. Key terms you should know. Linear motion. A motion in a straight or curved line with all the body parts moving in the same direction. Inertia. The resistance an object has to change its state of motion. Newton's first law of motion. The law of inertia. Inertia is the resistance an object has to change in its state of motion. If an object is at rest, it will remain still. If it is moving in one direction, it will continue to do so at the same velocity until another force is exerted upon it. The bigger the mass, the larger the inertia of a body or an object. This means that a force will be needed to change the state of motion. Consider two rugby league players running towards you. One weighs 75 kilos and the other 100, which would be easier to stop. The player weighing 75 kilos as it has less inertia, therefore will need less force to stop compared to the 100 kilo player. Newton's first law of motion, the law of inertia, continued. Newton's first law states, a body continues in its state of rest or motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by external forces exerted upon it. In simple terms, a force is required to change the state of motion. If a body changes the state of motion, it starts, stops, accelerates, decelerates or changes direction. For example, in high jump, the athlete changes their state of motion at takeoff when they travel vertically to clear the bar. Newton's second law of motion, the law of acceleration, the rate of momentum of a body is proportional to the force causing it and to the change that it takes place in the direction in which the force acts. In simple terms, this law means that a magnitude and direction of the force applied to the body will determine the magnitude and direction of the acceleration given to the body. The rate of acceleration is directly proportional to the force causing the change and the following equation is often used to calculate the size of a force. Force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's second law of motion continued. This suggests that the mass involved remains constant, then acceleration is equal to the size of the force causing it. To provide the acceleration at the start of a sprint, an athlete will have apply a large amount of force internally with their gluteals, quadriceps and gastrocnemius as they drive forward. Similarly, a tennis player will impart a large amount of force on the ball so that it accelerates over the net in the direction in which the force has been applied. Newton's third law of motion, the law of action and reaction. To every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion describes what happens when two bodies exert forces on one another. Action and reaction are equal and opposite and always occur in pairs. Action acts on one of the bodies and the reaction to this action acts on the body. At a sprint start, the athlete pushes back on the blocks as hard as possible and the blocks push forward on the athlete, providing forward acceleration. Newton's third law of motion continued. Most instances with Newton's third law involve ground reaction force. This is the force exerted on the ground by the body in contact with it. An individual standing still on the ground exerts the same contact force and at the same time an equal and opposite ground reaction force is exerted by the ground on the individual. For example, a swimmer pushing backwards on the water with their hands and feet at the same time the water thrusts the swimmer forwards. So as the swimmer pushes backwards, the amount of water that pushes back against it will move the swimmer forward. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Key terms you should know. Newton's first law of inertia. A body continues in its state of rest or motion in a straight line unless compelled to change its state by external forces exerted upon it. Newton's second law of acceleration. The rate of momentum of a body is proportional to the force causing it and it changes that take place in the direction in which the force acts. Newton's third law of action and reaction. 
to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Applying the laws to football. Newton's law of inertia. In a penalty, the ball will remain in the spot unless it's kicked by a player. For example, the body will be the ball. It will stay still unless a player kicks it. So the external force is exerted upon it. Newton's law of acceleration. When the player kicks the ball during a game, the acceleration of the ball is proportional to the size of the force. E.g. the harder he kicks it, the further it will go in the direction kicked. So for example, the player kicking will be the force and the direction he points it is the way that the ball will then change its momentum. If he kicks it to the left, the ball will go to the left. Newton's law of action and reaction. When a footballer jumps up to head of the ball, a force is exerted on the ground in order to gain height. At the same time, the ground exerts the force upwards towards the player. So for example, as the player jumps up, the action to head of the ball, the amount of force it takes him to get off the ground is also pushed back by the ground. For example, if it took him 10 kilos to get off the ground, the ground is pushing back 10 kilos. Equal and opposite reaction.